with Audrey Pentecost. Hi, I'm meteorologist Audrey Pentecost. And I'm Rebecca Bartlemay. And Audrey, I think this like deserves a place in the 906 Weather Watchers Hall of Fame. I agree. <laughs> I think this picture is just absolutely amazing. The little peanut that's flying in the air. Literally <laughs> mid-flight <laughs> with the birds and the birds are, you know, going after it. I right. love this picture. It's amazing. This is definitely an action shot. You mm -hmm. can see uh, it definitely feels like it should be moving right yes, now. Yes, definitely. And like, I like how they're flying. Like one's wings are back, <laughs> one's wings are forward. They're <laughs> battling out for that peanut. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's almost like a dance. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. Oh, so <laughs> So fancy. <laughs> I know. And this was sent from Kevin Dunham in Unisync. So thank you for sending that. And here is a precious squirrel. And this was sent from Kathy Cardone in Nagani. Absolutely yes. so cute. It looks like maybe he's going to jump. He maybe. might. He, this might be a pre-action shot. <laughs> I think so too. I think so too. Maybe he's also going after the peanut. Yes. <laughs> <Who knows? laughs> and this was sent from Sally Tapio Smith in Houghton County. And this just looks a little treacherous yeah, in my opinion. Yeah. I'm glad I don't have to drive on that road. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, looks very windy and almost a little bit steep. I don't know if maybe it's just the angle, but also it is a gorgeous picture. I do love, it just looks like very wintry. It looks like just a winter storm went through or something. It looks really pretty. I do love that. And this was sent, this is what I've been using pretty much all day, uh, from Sandra Updike and Tamarack Lake. I love this picture. I think it is so gorgeous. I love the trees in the background. Ground. And also a little Jake obviously running on the lake, the frozen lake and the snow too. So I do love this picture. It's really Yes, pretty. it's precious. It's so nice. And you could also see the gray skies too. <laughs> and also for your three things to know, we're going to see some snow continuing mostly towards the east, but still towards the central UP tonight. And we could also see some pretty gusty winds this evening. And for this weekend, we're going to see those temperatures uh, start to trend colder to even uh, maybe some single digits by the beginning of next week. We can go ahead and zoom in. You can see your radar and satellite. We are going to see uh, some more snow showers, especially towards the east and closer to Lake Michigan tonight uh, for the rest of tonight and into the and into tomorrow as well. Uh, we're under a winter weather advisory. If you are in the eastern part of the UP and just really if you are east of Barraga, Marquette and Dickinson counties, if you're towards the east of those counties, you're under this winter weather advisory that will uh, that will lift tomorrow morning. And and this is due to some snow accumulation that you could see as well as some pretty gusty winds. Your temperatures right now are mostly in the uh, 30s, around the lower 30s or in the upper 20s at this point. And uh, you're going to see those temperatures just fall down into the 20s for tonight for most of us across the UP. For your future weather, we're going to see those snow showers continue throughout the rest of tonight and into tomorrow. We're going to see more of some lake effect snow, especially closer to Lake Superior, which could uh, cause some more accumulation of that snow on top of what will be falling uh, throughout the rest of tonight and by Thursday morning we still could see some snow so that will be a possibility for the rest of this week and taking a look at your snowfall forecast after tonight by tomorrow morning we're going to see mostly just uh, around an inch of accumulation towards the eastern UP and also closer to Lake Michigan towards the east and central areas but we're going to see uh, mostly just a trace for most places across the western UP and also closer to the Michigan Wisconsin border. You're going to see those areas uh, just stay um, pretty light with light snow as well as um, you're going to see some more accumulation, but not too much throughout your Wednesday and by Wednesday night again, just a little bit on top of what has already fallen. But uh, the main focus right now is the wind gusts that we could be seeing. It could blow the snow that has already fallen over the last few days and also throughout today. And you can see uh, those wind gusts could gust over 30 miles an hour tonight, even close to 40 miles an hour for some of us or over 35 miles an hour. So uh, those high wind gusts could blow some snow around and make the visibility pretty low, but those will be out of the area by tomorrow in the afternoon. And then you're going to see for your uh, temperatures tonight in the Keweenaw Peninsula, we're going to see your lows mostly in the 20s in this region. Highs for tomorrow will be in the upper 20s. And then you're going to stay mostly in the mid 20s for your Thursday and Friday with snow chances pretty much for the rest of the week and into the weekend. But that as we get into the weekend, we're going to see those temperatures start to drop. We're going to see uh, lows even in the single digits to start off your week next week and highs even um, in the teens. And then moving closer 
closer to the Michigan Wisconsin border tonight temperatures are going to be mostly in the mid to lower 20s highs for tomorrow in the mid 20s and then you're going to see those temperatures stay in the 20s for Thursday and Friday before starting to drop down into the teens on Saturday and even single digits for your highs to start off your week next week and you could even see lows even in the negatives and then uh, closer to Lake Michigan tonight we're going to see mostly in the mid 20s highs for tomorrow in the upper 20s you're going to stay in the mid to upper 20s for your Thursday and Friday and then gradually cool off to some pretty chilly temperatures to start off your week next week in the eastern UP tonight temperatures are going to be in the mid to lower 20s highs for tomorrow in the mid to upper 20s are around 30 degrees and then you're going to see mostly in the lower 20s for Thursday and Friday before you see a a cool down into the teens for your highs to start your week next week in Alger County. We're going to see temperatures for tonight mostly in the mid 20s highs for tomorrow in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees 26 on Thursday 25 on Friday before dropping down gradually as we get into the weekend in Marquette County tonight away from the lake shores temperatures will be around the lower to mid 20s highs for tomorrow in the mid 20s 25 on Thursday 23 on Friday with snow also possible and then you're going to see those temperatures drop down into the teens by Saturday and even single digits for your highs by Monday and Tuesday. Moving into the upper terrain area tonight, temperatures are going to be around 22 degrees in this region. Highs for tomorrow around 24 degrees. You're going to stay in the lower to mid 20s for Thursday and Friday before dropping down gradually and then reaching into the single digits for your highs by Sunday. Closer to the lake shore tonight, we're going to see temperatures mostly in the mid 20s. Highs for tomorrow in the upper 20s. And you're going to stay in the mid 20s for your highs for Thursday and Friday, dropping down to 20 degrees for your Saturday with snow possible. And then you're going to see those temperatures drop significantly to start off your week next week.